Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. So first uh, W900 video of the new year. I'm so proud to present this to you guys. I'd like to first of all say thank you to Stephen Hills for purchasing this truck for me. Uh, it was one of those last minute build spots that I had that came up and Stephen was on my waiting list and bang, we got him a truck. So he's been waiting about a year for it, which is a lot quicker than most these days. But uh, anyhow, enough about uh, that. Let's get into this truck. All right, here we are. Here we are. Wow. Look at this beast. So if you guys know anything about Kenworth, uh, a few years ago, Kenworth did a special edition Icon 900 edition truck and this paint scheme is based off of that but instead of being on a W9L it's on a W9B so check that out pretty awesome so this is a 2023 W900B so it's the short hood and uh, it's heavy haul heavy spec truck so Steven is working over at Searcy Trucking based in Altona, Manitoba. Uh, They're hauling oversized loads with this monster. Uh, we sold him a green T800 with a studio sleeper about four years ago, and I did a video on it. I'll try to remember if I think of it to put it up in the corner, whichever one it is. And if you want to check that out, uh, truck was sold, his trade-in uh, sold immediately, so uh, way to go. But yeah, let's get into this truck here. So the way that we set this truck up, uh, we got the Texas bumper on it here. It's sitting on a 20,000 pound front axle with a 16 spring, wide base 385 steer tires, and it's sitting on a 244 inch wheelbase. So we wanted to keep everything really tight, really compact. <laughs> on this truck uh, just because it's doing up to nine axle trailer work uh, so it needs to be a really tight tight setup so we'll explain why here in a minute and what we did uh, so looking up top here we did some customizations to the visor so that is a visor that 12 gauge customs Jeff Battler was able to get for us for this truck and uh, we have the roof lights up on the cab that are the LEDs. I gotta say, I love this grill. Like, look at how much of a mirror that is. I know I've talked about that before, but I just love it this time of day when the sun is starting to set or getting close to the magic hour. And just look at how crispy that looks. It just looks super, super crispy and lovely. Love it. So, uh, okay, let me get into the details here going down the side. So like I said, 
heavy front end, wide steer tires. We did the polished DPF uh, battery box on the other side. This is the battery box here. So we got the smooth polished cover with the smooth aluminum polished sides. Uh, so that's a nice polished setup. We did the polished def cover. We did the polished fuel tanks. Now, I know I talk about the seven inch straps in a lot of my videos, but uh, this is the largest style of fuel tank that we can get. It gives us you, you a larger diameter tank. So it's a 28 and a half inch diameter tank, uh, which makes it fatter, but it's also shorter. So it allows for space for toolboxes or just a shorter wheelbase. So uh, without losing fuel capacity. So that's why we went with that. We have these aftermarket toolboxes that were installed by the boys over at House of Chrome. And uh, we got these fenders put on. Those are made by Ace. So these smooth, heavy duty fenders looks really sharp and uh, chain hangers with the mud flaps hanging down. It looks great. We got the new way air ride suspension. So that's a really smooth, heavy duty, robust suspension. Uh, it's probably the most expensive suspension that we sell in our data book for a tandem axle configuration, but it is one of the finest that we also sell. So uh, really good suspension for this type of work. We got the Michelin uh, tires on the back here, 22.5 with the Durabrite polished rims. Uh, as far as the fifth wheel, we have the heavy duty dual lock, uh, 70 ton fifth wheel. It's got a 60 inch slide, nine inch ride height. So that's a really beasty, heavy duty fifth wheel on there. Uh, we took off after the fact the spring loaded mud flap hangers just so that uh, makes it easier for hooking up with this application. And this is one of the newly designed mud flaps that Inland has come out with. So uh, I'm on a, I guess, a team of people within Inland here between all of our branches in Canada and the US. And we kind of voted on what is the best design and uh, from all of our staff that created and submitted a design and this is what we came up with. I'm really impressed with it. I think it looks great. Check it out. Uh, check us out online if you want, inlinegroup.com. Uh, so some things were done after the fact here, welded on these ramps on the back. We do offer ramps right from the factory, but uh, these were just something that Steven did on his own and uh, he'll color match that a little bit later is what he was telling me. We got the heavy 46,000 pound rear end. I have to get into the truck and double check what the ratio is. I think we put a 410 in it here, if I remember right. Uh, and then we have drum brakes on the back. But here is that new A suspension. I'll just kind of get into that for a second, kind of show you that. Uh, so we have, <laughs> we've got people waving and saying hi. So we have this heavy duty design here. Uh, it has this big tube running along the bottom. And then we have this uh, V uh, wishbone style piece up here with all these bushings in there. So it's a really robust, heavy duty uh, design. I've sold that on loggers and on over the road trucks too. It's, uh, it works really well. We have the other toolbox on this side with the chain hanger and then Ace Manufacturing did this uh, headache rack with the turn signal lights in there. I got it. You got to love that. It just always looks really classy and uh, really nice. So gotta love that. The larger fuel tank, so that's a 177 gallon fuel tank. So that is the largest fuel tank that you can actually get on a Kenworth truck right there. <coughs> and then here is the DPF box. So let me just open up the hood and we will show you. So you'll notice these three stainless screws that are in the hood here. That's where we had the Kenworth name in it. and. I guess it's something that we overlooked when, when we were specking. This paint design is designed for the W9L. So when we have this on a W9B, uh, the way that it was positioned, this is where the Kenworth sign would have been. It should have been a little further back or this should have been a little further forward, but uh, that's where it is. And uh, customer actually kind of likes it with these uh, stainless screws in there. So yeah, something, something different there. But, uh, oh, I forgot to even show you these. They're just blended right in. Totally missed them. But look at this. We have shift products, the air cleaner lights. So these are the uh, minimalist design here. We got the stainless cover with the LED strip down the back. So that's kind of a blind mount, if you will. And then same thing on the back. We got the, uh, the larger one with the, uh, with the red lights on the back. So 
really nice setup to have the air cleaner lights front and back. That's just kind of a nice clean, clean uh, design there. So we'll open up this hood. Oh boy, it's probably frozen. We just got it washed and there we go. Yeah, just a little tight. All right, so underneath the hood, we have this Cummins X15. It is a performance series. It's a 565, 2050 torque on this engine. So it's the heaviest torque that we can get on the Cummins engine. So just a brute workforce, uh, workhorse on this one here. So check that out. We have the Davco heated fuel water separator, the 382. We've got remote lube terminal right there for the cross shaft and the release bearing. We have disc brakes up on the front. These are rated up to 20,000 pounds. So we got the heavy duty disc brakes. And uh, yeah, let me just show you on the other side quick. And then we'll take this on the inside. So uh, here is the turbo. We have a aftermarket installed Wabasto heater right here. Uh, guys, House of Chrome did a great job throwing that on there. And then the timers and controls are inside. So I'll show that to you here in a bit. Uh, something else here you notice just uh, where we have the wide load flags it just kind of bolted to the back side of the bumper there just just little touches like that aftermarket uh, always looks good so let's uh, get out of the cold and take a look inside all right so as we walk in here you'll notice we have the burgundy interior so it's uh, kind of the old school ox blood uh, it's not called that anymore and the color is different than that but uh, it was cool when they called it that but anyways the burgundy or the red interior diamond VIT and the dash is all black as you can see there and then we have the Sears ultra leather seats here that are black in color there's the Kenworth nameplates off the side of the hood uh, so down below here we'll just kind of do the tour this way down below there is the Wabasto uh, heater and it does have Bluetooth with the smart temp in there so that is uh, something that you can activate from your cell phone if you have the app on there. So something new technology that's coming out or that is out. So over here on this side, we have your mirror controls, your window lifts, your power door locks right down there. And then uh, over here are some lights. Uh, so your interior bunk lights, your interior cab lights. So we'll turn those on for the video. Don't forget to shut them off. There is the auxiliary lights, which light up those guys red on the outside and uh, there's the backup work lights on the side of the sleeper and then uh, air trash control. So uh, up above here we have your standard uh, gauges and then we did the full gauge package all the way across which is how I like to do it. Always looks good that way and then we have your regen, there's your PTO, air slide, uh, your beacons up on the roof, the bunk air suspension over inflate so that actually inflates the air into the back of the suspension uh, so chaining up or or something like that it makes it a little bit more room uh, between the fenders there is your hazards your jake brake cruise and your air suspension dump and then your full locking differentials right over there so that's uh all the switches got your hvac controls down below and down here we got that little logbook holder uh, it's more a clipboard now for anything because the logbooks are a thing of the past. Uh, there is the 18-speed manual transmission. And then uh, up above there is your driving lights, your radio. And then up above is the CB radio and then the Diamond VIT all the way across. So there's the view from the... Uh, that's a straight 10, uh, what we did for the visor on this one here. So that's a 10-inch visor straight tight to the uh, to the cab. We put in the minimizer uh, floor mats in here. So those are kind of full coverage of the floor. So you can not have to worry about getting the carpet, this black carpet all covered in gunk and junk. I'll just take a step into the bunk and show you what's going on back there. So on on the back here, we have the lower bed. So that's kind of the standard with the 72 inch tall sleeper. And then uh, up above, we did the storage shelf. You can also get a uh, upper bed 
if you order it on the spec, <laughs> uh, inside joke. Anyhow, so yeah, that is a nice deep pocket for storage. So you can actually get uh, a nice sun visor in there if you want, <laughs> or just throw your, uh, your duffel bag or whatever you want in there. Now on the back here, we have this old school fan. I just love it. I actually want to get one of these for like my office or somewhere just because they look so cool anyways. And it just reminds me when I was a kid, what these, uh, these trucks always had for cab comfort in the sleeper. So looking, looking beyond this here, we have your uh, power outlets here. We got three 12 volt outlets. This is a, a lighter. And then uh, in here is storage. Just open that up and we have extra material and then also the covers to go over the window if you want to seal that up. And then this little table flips down once you get these stowable armrests out of the way, that opens up fully. And then here you can drop that down like so, and then have a little sandwich making station, cooking or eating station or whatever you're doing. <coughs> so uh, we'll close this up here and look below. So this is where the refrigerator is. So that is uh, kind of a just the door style fridge. And then we got the freezer up above and then the crisper down below. It's been the same for as long as I can remember. Uh, down below here we have the shelves so these just uh, pull out like so that is not a standard option so if you want to get those when you order the diamond vit you got to order these separate so the sales code is eight five seven zero 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 for those codes for those options they're about 600 bucks or so um, and then to do the diamond vit you get uh, the cabinets up above here and here so a lot of times people will or the diamond VIT interior, thinking everything will have cabinet doors and drawers everywhere, but you won't, you gotta add, add those separate. Uh, so this here is a full length closet that goes in nice and deep. Up above, we got storage there and there. And then on this back wall here, this is where we have the Wabasto bunk heater for the back. And, uh, and then we have over here, your lighting for the back here. So we can shut that off back here, panel light right there, and then a switch to turn on the fridge. And then this is the fan <laughs> for that guy. So, or low, higher, low. So there you go. That is, uh, that is the bunk. So, all right. So that's it. That's it for this week's video. Thanks so much for watching. If uh, you really like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like this channel, I invite you to subscribe. No pressure, but if you want to do that, just click the button down below and you can subscribe and see future videos that I'm pumping out. So, uh, hey, again, Steve, thank you so much for purchasing this truck. I know it's been uh, a long wait. So, uh, yeah, thank you for purchasing this and uh, sticking with Kenworth and, and with uh, dealing with me. So really appreciate it. So thank you very much for the business. Lastly, we're going to announce the winner of last week's or two weeks ago's contest for the 3XL uh, t-shirt so the winner of the video from a couple weeks ago is all right so they're up on the screen you can reach out to me uh, or I will reach out to you on uh, on YouTube here and we will get you your W9 shirt if you want to get a W9 shirt you can enter this week's contest we're going to do another one it's for a 3XL I only have like three or four 3XL shirts left and I'm giving them all away uh, so just write contest 3XL and where you are watching from city and province or city and state and uh, we'll do a draw on the next video. So uh, that's it. So thanks so much again for watching. Have yourself the world's best day.